Peace, peace, everybody. Welcome to the Vital Hoops podcast. My name is Fernando Cardenas, aka International XB. I am your host, and this is episode number 17. I'm extremely excited to be here with you today, and we're going to get into some things today. You know what I mean? The NBA is back. And um, listen, I just I just got out of COVID, right? So this is the third time I had it, actually. The first time I had no symptoms at all, none whatsoever. The second time knocked me out pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I was a little knocked out for about close to a week. You know what I mean? And this time I was a little bit knocked out. It wasn't as bad as last time, but I'm still coughing a little bit. But uh, I'm back, and uh, yeah, happy to be here. I'm on my I'm on my sea moss. I'm on my black seed oil. I got my um got my ginger tea over here. So I'm good to go. I'm good to rock. Good to rock with y'all. Vital hoops is in the building. All right. So um, first and foremost, let's get into some NBA. It's been a while. <clears throat> I'm just going to pick a, you know, pick a few teams and and rock a little bit. The Milwaukee Bucks are looking really good. Giannis Antetokounmpo looks in shape and ready to prove something again, which is nice to see. Uh they've won just about every game. Um uh who else is looking good in the East? Boston is uh, well, Cleveland is looking good actually. Cleveland is looking pretty good. Um, for those of you who still don't know, I am a New York Knicks fan. So seeing, I, I, I wanted us to get Donovan Mitchell, right? It didn't happen. And, uh, and so, but he's doing a good job in Cleveland. Cleveland is actually looking pretty nice. We'll see how long they can keep that up, but they are looking nice right now. Boston is looking extremely good, which is not a surprise to anybody who knows basketball. Uh, but you know, the whole situation with the coach, which I want to touch on real quick, by the way, I haven't been able to, um, the, the Celtics head coach, Ime Udoka, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, he, he violated team policies, uh, during the summertime. That's what they're calling it, team policies. So basically, um, he had a consensual, but, but improper relationship with a team staff member who later alleged he made unwanted comments towards her. All right. I want to say a couple of things. First of all, he made Udoka as a basketball coach. Amazing, amazing coach. Um, There's a couple of weird things here. And the first, the first thing is that he's the one being punished, punished and we don't hear about the other person, right? When it's, you know, according to what they say, it's two grown people and it's consensual. So why aren't we hearing what's happening on the other side? Why is this public at all? Is what I don't understand, right? But for some reason it is. Um, it's it's a shame that it is. That's what it looks like to me. I I may not have all the information. Uh, I remember seeing Matt Barnes from all the smoke. You know, he first came out and defended Ime Udoka hard, and then he came back and said that. He got some info, so now he kind of stepping up away and didn't want to, you know. So I don't know. Maybe there's some info we don't know out here, but I don't know. I don't really know what to say about that. But um, it's weird that the other side, that there's no action from the other side. Who's the other person? The other person apparently has violated, you know, team policies as well. And uh, But anyway, that's that. Celtics are balling, and um, it's good to see, right? Um, who else in the East is doing their thing? Well, as of now, uh, you know, Philly, we could say Toronto, I guess. We'll see. I thought Chicago was going to start a little stronger. I thought Brooklyn was going to start a little better. I thought Miami was going to start a little better. We'll see. These are teams. You know, they need their time. Obviously, uh, Kyrie, I think, is right when he says that, you know, Ben Simmons, you got to give him his time. You know, he hasn't played ball in some time. Now you got to give him his time. 
and leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree. So, but yeah, I still think that I still think that Brooklyn can be good, man. I still think Brooklyn can be good. And by the way, to talk a little bit about Kyrie and his comments, you know, the whole thing about, you know, the anti-Semitism. You know, they said he posted a documentary or whatever. And uh, I think that, um, you know, it's a shame because I think, Ky I don't agree with everything Kyrie does, but I'm a fan of his in general, not just off, not just on the court, off the court as well. I'm a fan of his. I like the way he stands up and he speaks out, you know, like many athletes are scared to do. You know, I like the fact that he does that. We need people like him. You know what I'm saying? We definitely need people like him. But um, I, I wish, because he's going in a direction that I kind of like, but I feel like lately, you know, I'm just going to say it. I just, I just wish he had a, uh, some kind of a Pan-Africanist advisor. You know what I mean? I wish that, you know, a, a Pan-Africanist advisor that could really guide him the right way and give him the right book list to check out. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that would be dope. But um, yeah, I hope I wish the brother well, man. And I hope he he gets the right knowledge. You know what I mean? I'm gonna leave it there. Uh yeah, that's about that's that's how it's looking in the East. Uh to talk about the West. <laughs> Dame Dollar, that boy is a killer. Keeps on proving it. Um, sons, sons are looking amazing. By the way, that, that early Suns and Warriors battle that we got to see. Uh, I just want to touch on that real quick because the whole the battle of the light skins with uh we with uh Booker and uh and Clay. Booker and Clay Thompson. Listen, man, they both killers, they both ballers, you know what I'm saying? Um I like Clay Thompson a lot, you know what I'm saying? Uh D Book is a baller as well, but I like Clay Thompson a lot and I'm going to just say what he said. He's right. He's like, you know, everybody want to talk a lot right now. We'll see when it counts. So that's that's what it is. We'll just see when it counts. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, both squads are looking really good. Both squads are looking good. Uh, I think they can both go real, real far in the playoffs and hopefully meet somewhere and battle it out. That would be dope to see him in the playoffs war somewhere deep in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Um. Listen, the 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 Jazz and the Spurs both actually started well, which is surprising to many. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for the for the Spurs, Coach Pop. You know what I mean? That's dope to see him doing well. So, you know what I mean? That's that. And then uh uh, you know, the Clippers are gonna be good, I think, this year. You know what I'm saying? It's dope to see John Wall balling like that again. It's dope to see him. Uh, and they're deep. They're real deep. They got an amazing head coach. You know what I mean? An amazing head coach. So I think the Clippers are going to be nice. Uh, the Lake show. <laughs> I don't know what to say about the Lakers, man. I don't, I, I'm not looking forward to that. I think that, uh, you know, they could, I think they have some pieces. They just really need some shooters, but I don't know if the mentality is there or if the whole thing can gel, you know what I'm saying? Um, I also don't think that the whole LeBron thing, LeBron being being is going to be the best scorer this year. I don't know if that's going to help them as a team. I don't think so. I think it's the other way around. It's going to be like a LeBron parade soon. We're just going to be all the medias are just going to be talking about LeBron being the greatest scorer, him being the 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 goat. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't think he is. You know what I mean? But we can get into that in another episode. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the NBA is looking great, man. It's looking great. I think there are a lot of good teams, a lot of teams with potential, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's going to be a fun year to watch NBA basketball. I'm looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me go back to the Knicks a little bit, my squad. I like what's happening. You know, it's a little slow for me. You know what I'm saying? But but I understand. I like I like what's happening over there. Um, I like that 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 fight that fast paced game that we're playing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, guys are playing with heart, they're playing hard, they're playing defense, which is key. I like the fact that we kept Derrick Rose, 
You need that veteran le leadership. Uh, I like I like uh, Jalen Brunson. Uh, I like the fact that um, some of these guys look like they've been putting in work during the summer. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated. So, yeah, I think they looking good, man. They looking good. Hopefully, hopefully we make the playoffs, which is key. We got to make the playoffs. And then I think I still think we need some we need to get a couple couple of people in there that are stars, man. We need some stars, but that are going to fit in. You know what I'm saying? I think Donovan Mitchell would have worked, man. You know, I think so. But uh, it didn't happen. It's a shame, but we still need to make some major moves. You know what I'm saying? But I like what's going on little by little. I'm not complaining. Hopefully, you know what I mean? Uh, Knicks keep, keep getting better. I'm going to leave that there. All right. Uh, Brittany Griner. I want to talk about her real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I've been, for those of you who listen to the podcast on a regular, I have been talking about her situation. Brittany Griner, WNBA uh, superstar. Uh, got detained it over in Russia when she was over there going over there to, to play for her squad. And unfortunately, she she had a hash ban and uh, she got some time. But recently, on uh, October 25th, they ignored her plea for the sentence to be reduced. So that means, uh, well, technically, that means that she has to do nine years. Right. I think that's what it is. Nine years. So nine years in prison for a hash pen, you tell me. You know what I mean? I have no words for that. That's just messed up. Um, there are a lot of people in jail, you know, uh, here in France where I am, also in the United States for marijuana. You know what I'm saying? And they should all be free, man. And not just them. Obviously, I speak on this quite a lot because it's a subject that's, I feel it's important. Political prisoners must be free. You know what I'm saying? So this is a tough situation for her and for her family. But um, free Brittany Griner. So um, there's a couple of things that I want to get into. You know what I mean? I want to talk a little bit about music. You know, I'm just going to share some of the dope artists that I like uh, that recently came out. Coast Contra. You know what I mean? Uh, Sa Rock and Soul Messiah, dope shit. Um, Black Thought, of course, with Danger Mouse, <laughs> amazing work. But I specifically want to talk about this because it's kind of a subject that's, you know, not elaborated on. West Side Gun, right? I was listening to his new album, 10 which is dope as fuck to me. You know what I mean? As a, as a, as a hip hop fan, as a boom bat fan, as a New York nineties, gritty hip hop fan, that album is dope. You know what I'm saying? I can't lie. Black stars on it. Ghost face. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a dope album, but I do want to say one thing, man, the brother, the brother is not, He's not a teenager. He's not 16 anymore. At what point do we stop just talking about dope on all the fucking songs? And that be our only message. When do we grow, yo? You know what I'm saying? When do we grow? You know what I'm saying? And like I said, musically, I love it, man. The album is dope. It speaks to me musically. Even as an MC, everything, the cadence, the way. The way the flows, you know what I'm saying? Everything. But at some point, the message has to be deeper. I'm going to just leave it there. That's that's all I wanted to say. That's just my thoughts. But yeah, like I mentioned before, and there are a few more artists, you know, there are a lot of artists doing dope shit. So I salute all the all the, all the artists doing dope shit, man. Um, and not just in hip hop, you know what I mean? Some of some, but one artist that I really enjoy right now is... um. Seun Kuti, you know what I mean? Much respect to him. Uh, Fela Kuti's son doing some dope music. And he dropped a song with, with Black Thought. <sighs> Fire. Check that out. Seun Kuti and Black Thought. But anyway, let's get a little bit into some, some, some that all of you are following. <laughs> Unfortunately, because, you know, like I always say, you know, it's important for us to educate ourselves and see what's going on around the world. You know what I mean? 
because we're all watching Kanye West talking all this dumb shit, but there's shit happening around the world in Haiti. Yeah, yeah, hands off Haiti. You know what I'm saying? In Cuba, there's shit going down. You know what I mean? It's rough out there for my people. There's a lot of shit going down around the world. You know what I'm saying? But but I will speak on this Kanye West thing because I haven't yet on on, on, on this, on the Vital Hoops podcast. Real quick, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say that it's a shame. You know what I'm saying? But to me, you know what I'm saying? We as, as black folk, we as people of African descent should have stopped fucking with Kanye a while back. A while back. You know what I'm saying? A while back, he's been saying dumb anti-black shit. You know what I'm saying? Now all these corp fake these corporations are fake mad because he's do because he's talking against Jewish people. But when he talks against black people, doesn't matter. I'll keep on selling his shit. You know what I mean? But that's our problem. Do you think famous Jewish man comes out and says, Well, you know what? The Holocaust was a choice. Do you think the Jewish community is still gonna embrace him? think he's going to keep selling his sneakers to the Jewish community and the Jewish community is going to be like, oh, this guy's a genius. I don't think so. Kanye West been doing some dumb shit and he comes back out on tour and everybody's like, oh, yeah, Kanye is a genius. Go cop his album. Go, go get his shoes. Come on, man. We need to stop that shit. We need to stop that shit. Ever since he fucking wore that hat, you know, started embracing Donald Trump. Trump are they saying slavery was a choice and he went on with that stupid shit saying that uh the the officers need didn't didn't really kill George Floyd come on man you're spreading lies man you're a public figure don't do that man and a lot more dumb shit that he said dangerous shit you know what I'm saying did y'all hear Kanye West say yeah the white man is like what he said some shit like the the white man is the most discriminated against you know he has the le least opportunity to speak to he has the least opportunity to speak and i feel for him i identify with that with the white man why because i'm headed there i'm headed to that position of power and that's some straight nazi shit to say man this dude his rhetoric is coming straight out of the right wing fucking fascist fascist extreme right wing talk right not just because now he says one or two things that you think you, you come back. Oh, yeah, Kanye, look, he's telling the truth. That's why they dropping him. No, stop it, man. Stop it. Yeah, you know, the the whole the White Lives Matter shirt with the Pope in the front. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude is getting all his rhetoric from, from Candace Owens. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can keep supporting him if you want. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to keep tap dancing around with Candace Owens and and, and Donald Trump and them. You know what I'm saying? He's not for the people. He's not for the culture. He's proven it. You know what I'm saying? But it's sad what's going on. It's sad to see him like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, ever since ever since his mama passed away, he's been off, man. He's been off. And uh, but yeah, it is what it is. He's not someone that I think we should be supporting at all. But anyway, okay. So real quick, man, I want to give a little message to all my ball players out there. You know what I mean? Um, as a veteran, I know what time of the, se uh, of the season this is right now. You know, it's starting to get a little cold. It's starting to get dark earlier. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's still kind of early in the season, for some of you, it may be, you know, you may be, a little, you may be homesick in some cases. Or you may, be, you know, practice may start to feel a little bit long. You don't have that excitement of the, we just got back to it. We just got back to work and all that. So, you know, I just want to say, you know, now is when you dig deep. Now is when you separate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Whenever these moments come up and it starts to become a little bit hard and it's going to keep on becoming a little bit harder as the season goes on, that's how it is. Well, remember why you started in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Remember why you're here. Remember why you're part of this squad. Uh, uh, remember why you're doing what you do. You know what I'm saying? And things will become clearer, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be able to focus and stay inspired, which is key. You know what I mean? 
So keep going, keep working. And uh, remember, it's all about the journey. You know what I'm saying? It's good to have a goal, to have an end goal, a final goal, and this and that, and focus on winning a chip. And, you know, that's great. But remember, at the end of the day, it's going to be about the journey. So find ways to enjoy the journey. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted to put that out there. Um, uh, to, to, to speak on, you know, more serious things that are going on in the world. Like I said, there's a lot going on in the world. But um, we're in, there's a fucking eco side going on. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about that real quick. And a lot of us are worried about money. You know what I'm saying? And physical things, uh, which is normal because in this society that we live in, you know what I'm saying? We have to, you know, we have to eat. We have to be able to make certain moves. But there's a fucking eco side going on, you know what I'm saying? So all these material things are not going to matter for our sons and our grandkids if if the air they're breathing is filled with fucking par plastic particles. You know what I'm saying? If the soil is not good, I'm saying if the soil, if the soil can't produce food for us to eat, understand what I'm saying? And things are real critical right now. Things are critical. You know, people been talking about it for years, but society seems to ignore it. So I just want, just want to mention that you know I'm saying let's gain some consciousness on that. Yeah. Listen, I, I, um, I got a lot of feedback. I've been getting a lot of feedback from people who've been checking out the show you know what I'm saying? And um, and I appreciate it. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback, so I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it coming, I'm gonna keep the, the, the great guests, you know what I'm saying? Uh so to all all the people that have been guests on the on the show, man, you are appreciated. You know what I'm saying? People are, are letting me know that, that my guests are amazing. So so that's dope. I appreciate it. I'm glad, you know. We're just trying to raise some awareness. We're, st we're trying to, you know, inspire and empower. You know what I mean, we're trying to build and uh, we're trying to do it for the coach. So that's where we're at, man. You know what I mean? Vital Hoops. Um, we're building new things. We're going to make some announcements, you know, in the next couple of few weeks. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, once again, like I always say, please, 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 please support you can support just by sharing, just by word of mouth, just by reposting the episode. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're, on, we're on YouTube, but we're also on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. So wherever you want to check us out, please share links. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Um, that's how you can help. You know what I'm saying? Just spreading the word. And um, we're going to keep doing the work uh, here with, with the Fido Hoops podcast. Uh, before I go... I have a, I do have a book recommendation and uh, it is uh, Toward the African Revolution by Franz Fanon. Amazing book, an amazing person, Franz Fanon. Make sure you check that out. Listen, I want to do something with our book recommendations, uh, but I would love for you, for you, please, for you, the listeners to let me know. I know, I know my guests have had some great book recommendations, so if you'd like us to maybe elaborate a little bit more on those or, you know, whatever, just let us know. Let us know in the comments or write us an email, vitalhoopspodcast at gmail.com. Let us know what you think about the book recommendations. I would also love for you to let us know uh, which, which are the episodes that you have enjoyed the most so far. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, do, I do have some specific topics coming up with some people. But um, but yeah, if you have any specific topics that you would like us to touch on here at the Vital Hoops Podcast, please, please, please let us know. Like I said, VitalHoopsPodcast at gmail.com. You can shoot us an email. You can always leave us a comment. You can DM us on Instagram at Vital Hoops Podcast. You know what I mean? Hit us up on Facebook, Vital Hoops Podcast. Hit us up on, on Twitter at Vital Hoops Pod. And um, yeah, I appreciate you. Appreciate you for appreciating me. We out. Peace.